landscaping here. We're going to talk about grinding a little bit. There's a meme running around with this little boy holding up a welding electrode saying, using a grinder doesn't make you a good welder. Bull. Sometimes you have to grind when you're a welder. Sometimes you have to back grind a seam. Sometimes you actually have to finish a seam. So grinding is a part of welding. I know none of us like it, but we better get good at it. Uh, here at our shop, we love tools, of course, as you can tell, and we have even similar grinders set up with different tools. So, a lot of times, what we'll do when we're setting up a joint, we'll leave a small gap, we'll weld it up, but then we got to grind it off. So, what a lot of people do, pet peeve of mine, they'll sit there and they'll take it like a soap sponge and then just going to run back and forth. Guess what that does? It makes a mess, especially when people run the grinding wheel back and forth this way. It creates a hollow on either side. Keep in mind, all you need to weld, all you need to grind is a proud of the weld, as long as you have adequate penetration, flush with each piece of material. Especially important with sheet metal. Here we can get away with 20 thousandths extra, here we cannot. So, some of the different grinders we got, of course we have a 9 inch big flat wheel for doing stuff like this. Nice thing about a big wheel is it'll sit nice and level and flat. It'll create a much more flatter surface. You only want to use these on some of your larger grinders. Same thing with a set 7 inch disc on both of these. You don't want to use a 7 inch disc on a 4.5 inch grinder. Not good. Also notice, all these grinders they have a handle, they're supposed to have a handle. I know some people can get away without getting their knuckles cut. I've cut more times than I want to shake a stick at. So always use a handle. The other thing you want to have is when you're grinding something, use a kickstand. And I use a handle for that. So if I'm grinding this for example, this being a nice flat wheel, it's kind of what they look like when they start out. For finishing purposes, I'll put a hand down and then I'll run the grinder back and forth very evenly like this, but not terribly fast. <clears throat> Here we also have a metal finishing panel, which removes paint. It also can give a slight polish on something. And then we get into some of the air grinders. For those of you that really feel the need to move fast because you feel that you need to see, there's a lot of grinding discs with holes in them just for viewing purposes. As it spins, you can actually see what's going on behind you. Now when we get into different areas, say this scene here, we're going to need to use smaller pieces. We use these air-powered belt sanders. These work very good. They will work very good on creating that radius on the inside. Then we have cut-off wheels, which people have a tendency to overuse. These fellas are not cheap, but that's all you got, that's all you got. You want to use these, you can use this wheel, uh, the 6 inch on a 4 inch grinder if you're careful. The problem is it gets too close to the hand, it can actually cut you. Be careful. Then we have air powered cutoff wheels. We have a right, right angle one and a straight one. Be careful with using one of these, and again, use a kickstand. If I'm cutting it like this with no kickstand, and the sparks are traveling this way, the wheel's going to travel this way. I have no strength. So I need to lay my hands on the panel to give myself that strength to do so. Or we can switch to a right angle grinder with a handle because this is powerful enough. Now sparks are going this way, wheels traveling this way. I have sufficient control over it. I'm not cutting in midair where all these joints can actually move. Lay your hand right on the panel, throw a pinky down, throw a finger down, and be stable and steady. Also make sure the sparks coming at you, they feel uncomfortable, but guess what? The sparks are coming at you, the wheel will go away from you. If you are cutting like so, with the sparks going away from you, that wheel could come right to your soft parts of your belly. Just different food for thought on that. These cutoff wheels are also handy. Let's say you weld a piece of sheet metal, do a seam, there's a low spot. You can go in there and actually just touch off the top of that weld before you move on. Because you don't have any proud when you hammer and finish that weld out. That's just a quick synopsis on some of the different grindings that we do why we do it, and some of the minor safety issues. There you go. Happy Sunday. Enjoy your day. Thank you from Comstock Metal Shaping. Like us on Facebook, Comstock Metal Shaping. Have a great day. Oh, oh somebody sent a message. Come on, fucker. There we go.